Finally, after a long day of work, I can get some relaxation. I'm tired of everyone hounding me over this border situation. I just want to play some video games, damn it. And oh, look, the guys are all in a Discord call. Perfect. Hey, boys, what's up? Oh, hey, Joe. Donald and I were just finishing up a game of MW3 Zombies. What's up with you? I just got done with some campaign stuff. You know how it is. Oh, is that what we're calling your piss-poor excuse of standing around on a stage spouting incomprehensible nonsense now, campaigning? Because if that's your idea of campaigning, then I've got this election in the bag. You won't even be able to cheat your way out of the massive L the MAGA movement is gonna hand you this November. Damn, Donald, what's with the hostility? We're all friends here. Did you not see the video of President Dementia Patient embarrassing himself this morning? Look at the video I'm sending you on Discord. Oh boy, I'm almost afraid to watch this. By the way, it used to make beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer here in this fire. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. I wonder why. It's going. Jesus, Joe, did you have a stroke earlier or something? What did all of that even mean? Now I'm starting to think Donald might actually win re-election? I'm telling you, when Joe's off the Addy, he speaks in fucking riddles. I can't help getting old. Plus, you and George aren't far behind, so don't expect any sympathy from me when you start losing your train of thought, too. Joe, you're one of my best friends, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, but I don't expect you to survive another year, you fucking geezer. You might have a point there. Sometimes I do wish I was spending my twilight years more peacefully. The presidency is a stressful job. I miss when I was young, the 90s especially. I remember when Pokemania hit the States. Who just joined? Who do you think, Joe? I'm the only other person with access to this Discord server. Anyways, what's up with you guys? Oh, Joe was just about to start yapping about Pokemon or something. Pokemon? Are you like 10 years old, Joe? That game is for babies. Pokemon is not for babies. Guys, back me up here. Yeah, I agree with Joe for once, George. Even though the quality of the newer games have gone down drastically, I think you're just being a hater. Wow, thanks, Donald. Anyways, you'd know what we mean if you played them in the golden era. I remember it like it was yesterday. I can't believe it. I'm finally ready to take on the Elite Four after months of leveling up the perfect team. Now, hold on, Joe. You were like in your 50s in the 1990s. Why the hell were you on a playground? Just let me tell my story, Barry. Anyways. I was finally ready to take on the Elite Four when suddenly I was approached by the local playground bully. If it isn't Joe Biden, what are you doing here, you wimp? Um, I, I'm playing Pokemon. Pokemon, huh? Oh my god, gross! You're playing on a regular Game Boy. Y yeah what's wrong with that? Feast your eyes on this baby. Whoa, your Game Boy is like see-through and in color. Yeah, my uncle works for Nintendo, so I got one of these for cheap. <laughs> Hold on a second, Joe. None of this shit ever happened. I never met you at some playground back in the 1990s to talk Pokemon. Donald, this is my flashback. Let me tell it how I remember it. Ugh, fine. But if you're gonna include me, at least get my looks right. What the fuck am I listening to right now? Enough getting sidetracked. Back to the story. No way your uncle works at Nintendo. That's just a load of malarkey. Does too. How else do you think I got this legendary Mew? My uncle told me how you can find it under a truck in Vermilion City, and what do you know? I found it. Whoa, I've never seen that Pokemon before. Yeah, it's one of the so-called Poke Gods. They're extremely powerful and rare. I want one. All right, twerp, I can give you one, but it's gonna cost you. How about you trade me your Charizard? But Charizard is my best friend. I've had him since he was just a little Charmander, and he's level 60 now. Trust me, once you have a Pika Blue on your team, you won't be missing your Charizard. Besides, he'll be in good hands. Pika Blue? What is that? You'll see, it's super powerful. Now let's trade. Okay, I'll trust you, Donald. All right, thanks for the Charizard. Oh, and uh, all trades are final. See ya. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. Way to cotton pick in second. This is just a level two Pikachu that's been nicknamed Pika Blue. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the worst day of my life, but thankfully it only took me 10 years to get over it. Well, thank you, Joe, for wasting our time with your imaginary story. Now, can we play a game or something? Hmm. Actually, guys, Joe's lame story gave me an idea. Have you all heard of that new game, Pal World? Pal World? 
Who the hell is Paul and what's his world all about? He said, pal, dumbass, not Paul. But yeah, I have heard of it. Isn't it like Pokemon with guns or something? Pretty much, it's like insanely popular right now. It's sold nearly 20 million copies in like a week. Well, you lost me at Pokemon, but then pulled me back in with guns. Fuck it, I say we give it a shot. It's gotta be popular for a reason. Yay, I love Pokemon. So anything similar to that I know is gonna be fun. Well, I guess I don't have a choice then. All right, let's all cop this game and hop on. All right, everyone, y'all ready to play this game? Hell yeah. Judging by the title screen alone, this looks way better than anything Pokemon has done in the last few years. Well, I actually loved Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, even if they did run like shit on the Switch. Enough chit-chat, who's hosting the lobby? I think Joe should. The White House does have the best Wi-Fi, after all. You got it, Donnie, creating a world as we speak. I'm calling our island the White House. Very creative, Joe. Well, now I get to make my character. I'm gonna make the coolest character this game has ever seen. Well, don't take too long. We're ready to play, and we can't join until you're done. Oh, don't worry. I'm almost done making my super sexy character. Joe, did you just say sexy? Never mind that, Barry. I'm in the game now. Looks like I'm being woken up by a chicken, a cat, and a sheep. All right, Farmer Brown, we'll give us the invite code as soon as you can. All right, guys, the code to join is AJ4Z56. Cool, I'm in. Just gotta make our characters and we'll be ready to play. Yo, Joe, what's up? Damn, Donald, why is your character double-cheeked up? I mean, Donald is pretty thick IRL. I see you got your skin tone right as well, you orange cream sickle fuck. Ah, uh, shut up, Hussein, before I beat your ass. And you're one to talk about skin tones. You are not that dark in real life. I mean, I don't even know if we'll be able to see you at nighttime. Enough with the petty squabbles, you two. W is on his way. Guys, come up here and press four to bring up your emotes. This dance is hilarious. Here we go, I'm in. What the fuck are you three doing? We're busting a nut. I, I mean, busting a move. Oh, hell no. Well, instead of goofing around, how about we actually play the game? Oh, come on, George, lighten up. Goofing off with friends in a game like this is what makes them so fun. Take this, you fucking chicken. Yeah, let's jump his ass, Donald. What are you all doing? We're supposed to catch and make friends with the pals, not kill them. Bullshit. If killing them was a crime, I wouldn't have just leveled up from beating that chicken to a pulp. Guys, let's talk to this NPC. Maybe they can point us in the right direction. Oh, sweet. He's giving us some items. All right, thanks, loser. Now die. Donald, why are you beating that guy up? He helped us. You're ruining the game. Fuck that dude. He gave me the EXP I needed to level up. Wait, what the fuck? The fucking police are after me for assault. Obama's the one you want, not me. Oh, I just know you meant that in a racist way, Donald, you prick. Guess art imitates reality, because this is exactly how it's going to go down when you get convicted of one of the 93 felonies you've been charged with. Fine, you want to kill me? Come on, hit me with your best shot. Well, shit, they got me. On the bright side, they just fucking disappeared. Now someone come revive me. OK, so now we know assault is taken very seriously in this world at least when it comes to humans. Animal violence is A-OK, -okay, though. PETA is probably gonna make some cringy protest video about this game on their X account. Okay, well, now we can play the damn game like normal. Uh, I just built a crafting table so we can make pickaxes and stuff. Bro, I thought we were playing Pokemon, not fucking Minecraft. Well, the Pokemon aspect is just one part of the game. It's really an amalgamation of a few different games, like Ark and Breath of the Wild. Does this game have any original ideas? Look, it doesn't have to be wholly original to be fun. This game is blowing up for a reason. I mean, hell, you stole your campaign slogan from Ronald Reagan. Fake news, just like your Hawaiian birth certificate. Now, I'm gonna mine some of this shit so I can craft a Pokeball. I found one of those pal spheres on the ground. I'm gonna try to catch this lamb ball. Yippee! I caught it. You're gonna be my new best friend forever. What the, where's that fucking music coming from? I thought you might need some motivation from your ancestors to break these rocks a bit better, Barry. Oh, hell no, that's fucked up on so many levels. First Donald, now you too, George. Don't freak out, everybody, but yours truly just caught his first pal. The same stupid fucking little sheep that Sleepy Joe caught. 
Well, I just caught one of these chickens. I'm gonna go ahead and nickname it KFC so you all don't get the chance to make the joke. Guys, I'm building this computer thingy. I think this is where we store our excess pals and how we can start building our base. Holy shit! Sliding down hills is fucking insane. You gain momentum super fast. I'll have to try that. Sounds like a good way of navigating this giant world. All right, I caught one of these cat things. Now what? You can either keep them with you to help you in battle or assign them to the pal box to have it work at our base. I see. Well, I'm gonna venture out a bit. Seems like catching new pals grants a lot of experience points. I'm gonna start building us a base. I've made the foundation. Now to add some big, beautiful walls to keep Mexicans out, or I mean to keep us safe. Okay, Donald, now that was just uncalled for. I found a penguin-looking pal. You better watch out, bud. I'm close to leveling up, and you look like just enough XP. No offense, George, but that sounds like some cringe phrase you'd read on a Redditor's t-shirt. Damn it, I ran out of pal spheres. Guess you gotta die, little guy, sorry. It's getting darker than Obama's skin up in here. I think we should all get back to the base and build some beds. I'd make some clothes too, guys. It gets cold at night and that can kill you. All right, building my bed here. Guess I call this corner then. Hey, Donnie, what if I put my pal world bed next to yours? Fuck no, don't even think about it, you creep. I'm just kidding, unless... Damn you, Joe, you fucking freak. You really expect me to sleep next to you? Stop being a snowflake, Donald, and just get in the damn bed so we can sleep till morning. Fine, but I won't be happy about it. All right, it's a new day. Let's try and make plenty of progress. Just built a campfire so we can stay warm and cook food. I see we just leveled up our base as well. Yeah, now we can have more of our pals work on our base. I'm gonna make my little cat buddy get to work. Just call me George Washington the way I'm cutting down these trees. Well, I guess you both technically are George W. Yo, Joe, look. I'm grabbing your pussy. You what, Donald? No, please don't touch me there. OK, that is not what I meant, and you know it. Just for that, your cat gets to burn now. No, Donald, you big bully. I swear, you two are the oldest presidents in history, but both have the mentality of a 12-year-old. For real. Anyways, it's time to head out and explore this massive world some more. Yo, guys, don't freak out, but I see a giant cock. Oh, you mean that leaked video of Drake? Yeah, it's pretty big, but personally, I don't think it's really him. What? No, Creepy Joe, I mean like an actual giant chickpea. I think this is like a shiny Pokemon or something. I'm gonna catch it. But shit, I only have one pal sphere, so this better work. Don't worry. George and I are here to help you weaken it, Donald. Just saying, Donald, if you fuck this up, I'm catching it. Here goes nothing. Don't fail me, pal sphere. Let's fucking go, I captured it. This thing's gotta be powerful. Well, let's see it, Donald. Whip that cock out. Hold up, pause. Damn, look at this thing. For once, the white guy has a bigger cock than you, Obunga. Okay, I'm tired of hearing the word cock, so I'm gonna catch whatever the fuck this thing is supposed to be. I'm gonna try this slide thing you were talking about, George. Whoa, I'm zooming. Holy shit, this is awesome. I haven't experienced sliding this good in a video game since Black Ops 3. Look up ahead, guys. Looks like an old church or something. Wow, you were right, Barry. Sorry it's not a mosque like you probably wanted. For my own sanity, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. And holy shit, Joe, did you kill this guy? I didn't like the way he looked at me. Now hold the phone. How come when I beat up an NPC, the entire fucking police force comes after me? But when Joe does it, nobody gives a shit. This is lawfare against conservatives. This is why I need presidential immunity for all my actions. They're coming after me unfairly. Donald, it's not that deep, bro. It's a video game. Yo, guys, look, there's some Team Rocket ripoffs beating up a poor pal. You say that as if we haven't been killing them in cold blood ourselves. Let me try something. No fucking way you can capture him. He's not even a pal. Holy shit, that actually worked. Syndicate thug is now my own personal bitch. Uh, for some reason, He's just a floating pair of arms, though. I can see him just fine on my screen. I guess the game is in early access, after all. Guys, look on the side of that mountain. There's a cave. Maybe we should head inside. I agree. There could be some new pals or rare items inside. Or maybe even a creepy hermit who promises you a drink of his special stew in return for sexual favors. Whoa, that was way too specific. Joe, did that, did that happen to you, buddy? <laughs> Okay then. Well, I just activated a fast travel spot heading back to the cave. Be ready to go inside. Let me throw out my sheep first. 
What the hell? Average Biden voter? It's the perfect name for someone dumb enough to vote for you, AKA a sheep. Okay, even I got to admit, that is pretty funny. Glad you like it, Barry, because he's got a twin too, aptly named Average Obama voter. Donald, you know it costs nothing to be kind, right? I mean, you are a greedy scumbag, so maybe try it. I hate when people say that shit, acting like it's not free to be a hater too. Man, I can't wait to get back to the base and make my new slave, Osama, here get to work. Finally, the white man will be doing manual labor for me. This is truly the dream Martin Luther King Jr. foresaw. Yeah, well, this place is pretty creepy. Think we're getting close to the end? I don't know, but I found a new species. Looks like it's called Fuddler. Ooh, I'm gonna catch one. This should level me up. Oh yeah, I've totally caught this guy. And let's go, I hit level seven. That's swell and all, Barry, but this area up ahead totally looks like a boss fight arena. I'd be on guard. Oh yeah, I see it's health bar. Wait, never mind, it just disappeared. Yeah, the game's just glitchy. But look, there's a big version of that cat thing that's gotta be the boss. It's a high level, so dodge its attacks. Shit, just as I say that, it hits me. Don't worry, Donald, I got you. Thanks, George, back in the fight. Let's go defeat this boss. Hell, maybe we can even catch it. Take this! Ah! He sent me flying! I'm okay, though. He's almost dead. Someone throw a pal sphere. Oh, shit, here goes nothing. Let's fucking go! I caught the boss! That's good for you, Donald. Now, can we get out of here? I'm willing to bet that crystal is some sort of teleporter to the outside. Yo, guys, I got a crossbow schematic from that chest. We should build some. Did you guys see that tower outside? I think that's where the first real boss is at. What a surprise, Bushy Wushy noticed the tower. Let me guess, you want to knock it down? Bushy Wushy, who the fuck do you think you're talking to Joe? I will fucking end you. As much as I'd love to see that happen, we should head to the nearest fast travel point and head back to base. Joe's naked ass might freeze to death out here. I think George is onto something, though. Our goal for the day should be to take out the first boss. Well, now that we have our own boss pal and my super strong chickpea, we should be able to take it down no problem. All right, well, let's skip to daylight so we can see, and then we can get geared up for the fight. Bet, you know, this game has ended up being more fun than I originally thought. Yeah, it's pretty charming, even if half of the pal designs are just Pokemon ripoffs. Maybe the success of this game will light a fire under Game Freak's ass to make better games. Maybe. I mean, I'll never play those baby games, so I don't give a fuck. I'm just ready to get some guns in this game. I found a Pikachu knockoff, pal. This thing looks like a reject Digimon, honestly. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about Digimon. That series always did live in Pokemon's shadow. Pokemans, Digimans, what's the difference? They're both games for little children. A real game for men would be Apex Legends. I know I'm older than you, George. But damn, that is the most boomer thing I've ever heard. I bet back in the 90s you were claiming Pokemon was promoting Satanism or something. Not only Satanism, but also the myth of evolution. Okay, well, before we get into a heated political debate, what say we take on the boss at that tower George found earlier? Sounds good, let me just, wait a second, what happened? What the hell, I got some sort of error message. Me too, guess the game is prone to crashing. It said so on the title screen. Just load it back up, Joe. You got it, Barry. Wait a second, what the fuck? The world is gone. You're joking, right? No, I swear to God, the only option is to start a new world. So you're telling me I just wasted an hour of my time making all of that progress, so just to lose it all? Damn, well that sucks. This game really is glitchy. It's no big deal though, we can just run it back. No, I lost my fucking rare chicken and all of my pals. This game fucking sucks and I'm refunding it right now. Well, damn. Guess we're never playing this again. It was fun, but maybe we should wait for the full release instead of being beta testers. But I guess I'm gonna get off for the day, too. See you guys later. Bye, Barack, love you. All right, Joe, how about we run some zombies or something? Maybe a nice custom map like Rainy Death or something? Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's do it. 